What's going on everybody? Welcome to another Walkthrough Wednesday that I got roped into doing and it's freezing out here, the things I go through for you guys. I'm standing in front of the Rogue 29KS toy hauler. I'm going to take you guys around. They've updated the exterior, they've done some cool stuff on the interior, so it's good to go up. So on this side, it's where you're gonna put your uh, generator. Does not come with a generator, but it will perfectly fit like an Onan generator in there. And it is uh, sealed off, so it's gonna be quieter. You have your outside shower. A lot of people are like, what do you need an outside shower for? I primarily use it to get sand off of my legs and stuff. And when we're coming back from the beach, also great for washing the dogs. You've got your city water connection and your fresh water fill right here. Cable satellite TV hookup. You do have a single slide on this side. And then back here, you're gonna see your ramp. You can actually lift this up and make this a patio. And this piece right here will form the patio around it. So it's great for little kids or dogs. You're not gonna to have to worry about them falling off the side. So it does give you extra living space when you're camping. On this side, you do have your fuel tank. I believe it's 30 gallon fuel tank and uh, your lock for keeping people from getting into it when you don't want them to. I do want to show you, they've done some cool stuff when I talked about the outside. I like these new doors they've put on. It's dirty, we just got it in, so it hasn't been washed or anything yet, but they have done a really cool job with that. You have a exterior awning that covers, I don't know, 90% of the camper. It is electric awning and it does have LED lights. So let's go in where it's less cold. Let's start in the bedroom, Greer. So as you see, you have your second entry into the bedroom, which a lot of people really like. You have your queen size bed. This does have storage underneath it. You do have end table or nightstands on both sides of the bed, this one being longer. They do have regular charging on this side and regular charging and USB on this side. So whoever gets to sleep on this side has more space and more cool stuff. You have the his and hers closet as well as some additional storage up above. Then we're sneaking around to the other side. We have our pass through bathroom. So we have our neo angled shower show you inside there actually very spacious plenty of room to take a shower you've got your toilet which is kind of a necessity in a bathroom directly behind the toilet we have uh, storage so you can keep your toiletries your towels all that kind of stuff in there sink with storage below the sink as well as a nice size medicine cabinet something I often overlook is it does have an exhaust fan and you do have a skylight over the shower. So if you're really, really tall, I'm almost six foot. If you're really, really tall, maybe your head would fit up in there, I don't know. Coming out here to the kitchen area, close this door off. You see we have some storage cabinets here in your kitchen. You have your three burner stove and then you have microwave. Additional drawer, uh, cabinets up above and you have drawers down below. You have your L-shaped counter area, so you've got quite a bit of kitchen countertop space. And a nice big deep sink, it's that farmhouse style sink. It's, it's like a, it's not a bronze, it's, a, it's like a blackish color, it's really sharp. They've even added cool things, like they've automatic, they've put in the auto hand sanitation station, so you just, you're good to go. Refrigerator. Again, pulls that theme collar out. It's the same color as your sink and your stove, which looks really nice. Additional storage there. You have your CD, I'm sorry, your Bluetooth uh, uh, controls your inside and outside speakers. And then Greer, I'll let you come over here and I'll just talk about this space. So you see over here to our right, we've got our seats. You could always buy additional seats and put in here if you wanted. Uh, you know, a small futon or something like that. But then you have your main garage area, which follow along here on the left side is 16 feet, correct, Greer? Mm -hmm. And on the right side, it's 10 and a half feet. 
Ten six. Ten six. And the reason you got that size discrepancy is just your chair coming out right here. So if you were just pulling something longer in on this side, you've got plenty of room, but just think you've got that 10-6 overall. Your couches will come down and form couches, obviously, but they'll also come together and make a bed. And then you've got an extra bed up here that'll come down, a bunk-style bed. So plenty of sleeping space in this. Uh, you've got your grab handles. I forget the exact term on those, but those are down into the frame, so you're not going to have to worry about those coming up if you're holding your Harley or your side-by-side -side or whatever you're doing in there. So basically that's it guys. This was the 29KS Rogue Toy Hauler. If you guys have any questions or if there's something specific you wanna see, be sure and just leave a comment down below. We'd love to show you. Happy Wednesday. We've made it through the week. We're headed towards the weekend.